Let's talk about getting this blaster ready to use. So they give you a couple big packs of gel beads. You don't need to use a whole pack at once. You can certainly just use part of them, and that's what I recommend when you're starting out. Um, these do not go bad at all once you open them. Just stick them in like a Ziploc so they don't go all over and make a mess or tape the pack shut after you cut a corner. Now soaking those, there's a couple tricks. They can only get to seven to eight millimeters. They can't get too big is my point, but they definitely can be too small. So what you want to make sure is that you're using a container that's large enough for them to have room to grow, use plenty of water so that they have plenty of water to grow, and then make sure to give them four to six hours so they have plenty of time to grow. At that point, there should be room left over in the container and water left over because you didn't guess perfect. So drain off that excess water, and then you can store them in airtight containers for up to a couple weeks. Never store them inside the drum magazine or any magazine. Uh, in fact, when you're done playing, it's important to make sure that this is empty. So the nice thing about it being translucent is you can see inside that there's gel balls or not. But when you're done, shake it out and even click this button and flick it a few times to make sure that feed tube is empty and nothing's in there drying out, getting stuck. Now, when we want to play, we're gonna, you're going to go ahead and you're going to load this up and you're going to need to make sure to prime it. So when you fill this with gel balls, I'm not going to be able to shoot it right after this, so I'm not going to do it right now, but when you fill it with gel balls, you're going to then go ahead and take this and click this until a gel ball pops out the top. So you're going to click it. It might take you know, 15 times, 10 seconds, if that. And that's just filling up that feeding tube with gel beads or gel balls, getting it ready to go. So once one pops out, you know it's primed and ready, and you can go ahead and stick it in here, and it's going to be a uh, better to shoot, give you a better experience, right? So you saw how easy the magazine slides in, push the button, slide it out. Right, very easy process there. In fact, we can just go ahead and leave it in for now. Let's talk about the battery. So here's your battery. It's going to come to you partially charged. It's 7.4 volt, 500 mAh battery. It's a four pin connection. Good idea to top that charge off. Just go ahead and plug this USB charger into any AC adapter, one amp or greater. Typically, these red ones have a red light that flashes when it's charging and is solid when it's red, but sometimes it's solid red when it's charging and turns off when it's completely charged. But Either way, it should only take a couple hours to maximum charge one of these batteries, okay? So we'll go ahead and we'll pull that off. And your battery is going to go in down here. So we can connect the battery. And then we can take the stock. So the battery is going to go inside this stock. Just kind of tuck it in. Just kind of guide that harness in so that it's not getting pinched and it's out of the way. And the stock should pop right on. Okay, and then that's the release button to pull the stock off when you need to change the battery. So we've got that in there. Let's go ahead and shoot. Okay, you can go ahead and select different modes. So now we're in safety or manual. That's where you can go ahead and shoot using the charging handle. Then we've got safety. And then we've got fully automatic. All right. So that's set up. Now we got some accessories to go with. You've got your little front grip if you want to put this on. Spring loaded. Just push this button down and slide it on the rail. So it's still going to be a tight fit. So just find where you want it. There you go, pushed, it's clicked in. You've got a couple barrel options. So this one, you do have to use the small barrel in order to use the suppressor silencer barrel. So this is just gonna push in here. Let's just kind of push it in until it stops. And if you want to put this on, it goes right over the top of it, okay? So we've got that set up. You got some flip up sights here on each end so I can flip down, I can flip down. If you want to put your scope on top, you certainly can. So your scope does have some magnifying, but it's mainly for cosmetics. Nice little side rail. So if you do have a laser of some sort at home, you can put that on there or a flashlight. Or, of course, you've got the side rails up here on the barrel if you want to. So we're just going to find, just uh, unscrew that. 
and slide it on. Or is this one? Oh, this one we'll probably have to actually set it between the rail where we want it and then tighten it down. All right, so there. We'll put that there. Get that all tightened down. Now we're set up and ready to shoot, okay? So all I'll do is um, I'll do a demonstration video where I'll show you, again, the importance of how to prime this magazine. And then, of course, we'll shoot it. And we'll test the FPS and see how hard it's shooting. So check back. I'll post that down here on the item page, too. See, there's a couple things I just wanted to quick add on to that setup video that I noticed as I played with this more. So once you put the stock on, I suggest you leave it on because you can just access the battery from flipping up the top right here. And then also, this button allows the stock to slide out and adjust. So those are just a couple things that I came across right after I shot that video. And I wanted to add that on instead of shooting an entire new video. All right, we've got the scar style gel ball blaster here. I went ahead, I primed the drum magazine so that I got it to, some, to that point where you click it till a couple of balls come out. Uh, it probably takes about 15 clicks. Got that ready. The other thing I wanted to show you, I think I did show it in the video, but this stock does slide out. You can access the battery right there too. Some nice features with that. So let's shoot it and let's see what kind of FPS we're at with this one. All right, let's see where we're at on the FPS. So I'd say on average about 105 FPS. So not as strong as I was hoping, but of course I think all these blasters have a place uh, just for the right customer. So 105 FPS, you get the cool drum magazine, uh, you get the different kind of style, scar style stock that we haven't seen much before, and of course the scope with the rail. So let me know what you guys think about this, and please comments, questions, post them below. I try to answer everything. And of course, please like, subscribe, and make sure you're participating in all the giveaways. Plan on doing uh, two per month for the summer of 2022. Thanks for the support.